Hi, my name is Tanish and on this lovely October afternoon I will be taking you on a campus tour of The Ohio State University. Now before we get started, a couple of facts about Ohio State. Ohio State was founded in 1870. Um, this main campus holds over 60,000 students, 45,000 of which are undergraduates. We offer over 200 majors through 18 schools and colleges. And if you're watching this, you may be one of our half a million alumni living around the world today. Let's get started. When Ohio State opened its doors in 1873, University Hall was the only building on campus. It served as a dormitory for students, a classroom, and a dining hall. 147 years later, the new building is located on the northwest corner of the Oval. University Hall, after being closed due to safety reasons in 1968, was completely torn down in 1971, and the new building was built in 1976. Although University Hall has housed many different facilities, the Graduate School, the College of Humanities, and the College of Arts and Sciences are all located here currently. We're here at Thompson Library. Thompson Library is one of 13 libraries on campus. It holds space for a beautiful study lounge, as well as amazing views on the 11th floor, holds over 1.25 million books, and the capacity is about 2,000 students. I'm now standing in front of Thompson Library, where you have a statue of William Oxley Thompson, the fifth president of The Ohio State University. Now, William Oxley Thompson was also an ordained minister, so he'd often marry students right here on the Oval after they graduated. Now, legend has it, if a couple walks across the East Seal of the Oval to the West Seal, with the Orton Bells, ch Orton Bells chiming, and no individual crosses their path, they're destined to be a couple forever. This is why the Oval is often a popular place for marriage proposals. Now I'm standing here in front of Orton Hall, which serves as a geological museum as well as a library. Now Orton Hall is most famous for its bell tower, with 12 chimes that toll every 15 minutes and after a home football team win on Saturdays. Orton Hall is one of the oldest remaining buildings on campus, which opened in 1893. It is named after Dr. Edward Orton Sr., who served as Ohio State's first president and professor of geology from 1873 to 1899. Orton Hall is a tribute to this man's dedicated service towards the understanding of the geology of Ohio. The hall is built of 40 different Ohio building stones. In the outside walls, these stones are laid in stratigraphic order according to their relative positions in Ohio's bedrock. In the past century, the Orton Geological Museum has played a vital role in research and outreach, hosting approximately 13,000 visitors annually. Now, I'm standing here in Hayes Hall. Hayes Hall was named after Rutherford B. Hayes, former president of the United States and three-time Ohio governor. Now, fun fact about Hayes Hall is it's the oldest building on campus after its construction was completed in 1893. Now standing in front of the Ohio Union, which reopened in 2010 after it was demolished in 2007. Now, the Ohio Union is home to a variety of student activities and organizations, including Student Alumni Council. We're now on the third floor of the Ohio Union in the Keith B. Key Center for Student Leadership and Service. Here we have offices for a variety of student organizations, including Student Alumni Council. Here we have important meetings throughout the year, including committee meetings, as well as any meetings for events that we may have throughout the semester. Behind me is Mirror Lake, one of the most scenic and popular places on campus. Mirror Lake serves as a hub for student activity, as well as performances throughout the year. It was recently under renovation and reopened last year to return to more of its natural form. Historically, the lake was fed from a spring and sat on the land of William Neal, a resident of North Columbus. In the late 19th century, the trustees in charge of purchasing land for the university reportedly chose to purchase Mr. Neal's land after drinking from the spring. Ever since, Mirror Lake has been a central part of Ohio State's campus landscape. I'm now sitting in front of Pomeranian Hall, which reopened in the fall of 2018 as a part of the Mirror Lake District Renovation Project. Now, a couple of new features of Pomeranian Hall are social cafe and lots of flexible meeting space for students and faculty. A fun fact about Pomeranian Hall is that it used to include a gymnasium and pool and served as University's Women's Student Union. Now, 90% of the wooden floor remains and only the basketball lines have been removed. 
I'm now sitting in front of the Kuhn Honors and Scholars House. Built in 1926 at a cost of $72,000, this building originally served as the residence for the university president. George Wright Meyer, the sixth president of the university, moved in during the summer of 1926. In 1972, the university residence was moved off campus. The house was then converted into university office space with the Honors and Scholars Center moving in the year 1987. My next stop is Hale Hall. Hale Hall opened as Ohio State's first union in 1911. The structure was the fourth student union in the nation and the first built at a public university. It currently houses the Frank W. Hale Jr. Black Cultural Center, the Bell National Resource Center on the African American and Male, the Women's Place, and the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. I'm now on North Campus at 18th Avenue Library. 18th Avenue Library opened in 1993, as this library serves as the only 24-hour library on campus for students to get their late night studying time. Originally called the Science and Engineering Library, it was renamed 18th Avenue Library to make it more inclusive. Some features of the library include a coffee shop, computer lab, classrooms, and meeting rooms. I'm now at Hitchcock Hall, a building frequented by engineering students. It was opened in 1967 and built on the former location of the WOSU radio towers. It is also the location of the College of Engineering offices and freshman laboratories. Behind me is the Knowlton School of Architecture. Opened in 2004, this building replaced Ives Hall, which has the Department of Food, Agriculture, and Biological Engineering, along with Architectural Design Studios. Knowlton features a 30,000 volume library, a rooftop garden, a coffee shop, offices, and more design studios. The next spot further along campus is the Fisher College of Business. The construction of this six building project was the largest that the university had ever undertaken upon its completion in the late 90s and early 2000s at approximately $120 million. Gerlach Hall is the home to the Graduate School of Business. It also has Mason Hall, which contains the on-campus Starbucks. The project also included the Blackwell Inn, a fully functioning hotel on OSU's campus. Behind me is Ohio Stadium, better known as the Horseshoe. The history of the stadium dates back to 1913 when the Buckeyes played at Ohio Field and a new stadium was needed because of growing support for the team. Disagreements on where to build the stadium and funding issues led to delays in construction. Regardless of these issues, the university commissioned Howard D. Smith to design a double-decked Horseshoe Stadium in 1918. After securing the funding to build the new stadium, construction began in August 1921. Built of steel and concrete, the stadium was constructed at a cost of $1.3 million. The Buckeyes played their first game at Ohio Stadium on October 7, 1922 against Ohio Wesleyan. When it opened, Ohio Stadium had a seating capacity of 66,210 people. There have been many changes made over the past decades, and now the seating capacity is approximately 103,000 and currently the third largest football stadium in all of America. The Recreational and Physical Activity Center, or better known as the RPAC, was built in the heart of Ohio State's campus in 2005. With its massive scale and design, the RPAC is a true gem of campus. It has become a very iconic building for not just the Ohio State University, but also for the city of Columbus. It was designed by Moody Nolan Incorporation and locally by design architect Antonio Predoct. The RPAC costs around $140 million and has more than 27,000 square feet of fitness space, a gymnasiums, racquetball and squash courts, multi-purpose rooms, golf, and running spaces. As a part of revitalizing the North Campus area, a $370 million project was taken on in order to build eight new dorms, two new campus eateries, and a new recreation center. The project was completed in 2016 with the Tom W. Davis Clock Tower added at a later time. Each new dorm was actually named after an OSU military veteran. One dorm, Scott House, features a residence hall, dining hall, coffee shop, and convenience store for students to utilize. Another spot on North Campus is the Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering and Chemistry Building. Open to 2015, this building is shared by the College of Engineering and the College of Arts and Sciences. It features a six-story office building and a four-story research building. It was a $126 million development project taken upon the university. It's also recognized by its LED light wall designed by renowned artist Leo Villarreal. That concludes the virtual tour for today. Thank you all for watching and hopefully you're able to see some of the changes that have been made around campus. We'd definitely like to have you on a tour in person in the future. As always, go Bucks! Yeah.